Hey, how's it going everybody? Steve with the Penguin Outdoors YouTube channel. Coming at you with another hack for your cooler. Summer is just around the corner and anything you can do to improve your cooler now is only gonna help you in the future. So stay tuned, I'm gonna show you what I'm up to. Um, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Alright, guys, so last time I brought you a cooler hack, I was making some PVC tubes, and I thought, well, why not film it? And I didn't put hardly any effort into it, and it ended up being my most popular video. At the time of shooting this, it's at like 3,500 views. My next most popular video isn't even at a thousand, so. By far, you guys obviously like the cooler hacks. So I'm out here cleaning the garage and I got sidetracked by something that I wanted to do. And it should have taken about five minutes, but I figured why not film it for YouTube? So in full disclosure, this is the second time I'm shooting this because I started making it really complicated and I ended up throwing all that footage away because it was just, the whole thing was just a cluster. Um, if I ever do an outtakes playlist, that'll definitely be on it. So I'm gonna show you what I'm working on over, over here. This is my Igloo BMX 52. These are fantastic coolers. If somebody tells you that you need a Yeti, you do not. This is a fraction of the price of the Yeti. It is a fantastic cooler. I have put this up against the Yeti repeatedly in the summer and it holds right there with it. Absolutely fantastic cooler, I love this thing. So that's my rant about Yeti. Now, I have a soft-sided cooler. This thing right here. I almost never use it. On the rare occasions that I do use it, I never use it with the insert. I always end up pulling this thing out and then tossing it somewhere, which is why the corner is broken off because I tend to just throw it somewhere. So I wanted, the modification I wanted to do to my cooler, cooler. Take these out of here. Let's start with a clean slate here. Some YouTubers you may have seen when they go camping and space is limited, you'll see that they've got their ice, food, all that stuff in here. And then they'll have trays across the top and they've got their dry stuff in it, like dry ingredients, lighters, extra knives, cutting boards, you know, just they get all kinds of crazy stuff in the top of their coolers. Stuff that they don't want to get wet, but the cold ends are going to hurt it and they're trying to conserve space. So your cooler might already have a solid lip all the way around the inside here. Mine obviously does not. So I wanted trays and my original thought was, well, if it's got a lip in here, I'll just find some Rubbermaid totes, uh, not totes, that's the wrong way, Tupperware, and set them in there. Well, it doesn't have that. So then I thought, well, I'll just find some Rubbermaid Tupperware that I have and lay it in there and then find some brackets to take up the space. Well, I don't have any Tupperware that quite really works. I don't wanna drill brackets into my cooler. Um, those are some ways that you could do it, but I wanted to do it with what I already had around the house, quick and easy, without drilling into the cooler. I just needed something that, and I want it to be removable because when I'm not going like camping or I don't need those extra things in here, um, when space isn't that big of an issue, I want all my cooler space. So it had to be removable, which also means it has to be able to pack away because I don't have a lot of space to begin with. I fill it constantly with more and more fishing gear, camping gear, you know, you name it. So I had that soft cooler as I was talking about earlier. So I took the insert out of it, light bulb moment, and I set it down in the cooler and I thought, well, cool, I'm done. <laughs> I'm like, problem solved. Well, I wanted water to be able to run underneath of it uh, if there's ice or whatever in there. And I thought I saw a spider, sorry. I wanted the water to be able to run underneath of it. So then I thought, well, I've got some one inch PVC pipe. It already has some holes and stuff in it. It doesn't need holes in it, but mine has holes in it because I built one of those car wash sprinkler things for Kira to play with and she decided that she didn't want to play with it anymore. So I just hooked a one inch PVC, two 90s, hooked it together, drops right down the bottom of the cooler. This sits right on top of it, easy peasy. 
Now you can't have it right all up against the valve and everything because then it hits the door seam, but you just move it a little bit. Boom, the cooler closes. Water can run underneath of it. So then my second thought was, well, if I fill it with ice, this is where I made things complicated. I thought, well, if I fill it with ice and then pull the tray out, the ice is gonna shift around, so I need a barrier here. And then I built the barrier and went, well, why do I need that? I'm not pulling this out. If I'm pulling that out, it's because I'm cleaning the cooler out. Like, I'm just taking the stuff that's in it out. So I'm like, okay, well, that was dumb. So I threw the barrier away. And then I thought, well, let me make a floor and drill a bunch of holes in it, um, like a false bottom, just to make everything nice and, and flush and not have that little bit of, like, wobble or whatever. Well, I used some really thin, where is it? I don't even know what this stuff is. Ignore my cuts because I was rough fitting. This stuff's super thin. Um, it's some kind of backing board or something. I don't know. It was just something I found in a dumpster. Oops. And I put it in there, but that raised this up just enough that it was in the way. So then I got rid of the false bottom. So, I mean, honestly, I use cooler tubes more than anything. So what I'm going to end up doing is setting this over just a little bit, stacking cooler tubes here, putting everything else in, or it's just going to have some ice there and then ice all in here. I mean, it's not going to matter. This is literally going to work for what I need. So if you have a soft sided cooler sitting around or you see somebody throwing one away, buy it at a yard sale for a dollar or whatever, that insert might very well fit in your cooler. Every cooler is different. You do, you can do this with literally any cooler. Like I said, you could put brackets and have containers sitting on it. Um, if you happen to own one of the coolers that uh, they make these things for, you can buy them. I don't, I don't, I just didn't want to buy it anyway. So this is what I came up with quick and easy. And it'll be good for when I need to store stuff for cooking and whatnot in here. Like I can put my fuel, my little camp cooker, the little jet burner thing, my dry ingredients, my knives, my, f you know, seasonings. I can put it all in that thing and then just have everything else over here. So even if you're going out for a day on the water and you want to keep your sandwiches from getting wet, there you go. So this is going to work for me. Well, this is going to suit my needs. It only took a couple of minutes of my time. Well, it only took a couple of minutes of my time to come up with the original idea. It took a few more minutes of my time to film it. It took a whole lot of my time to make it more complicated and go down that whole other road I was going down. I don't even know why I was doing that. So there you have it. That's how to add dry storage to your kayak. <laughs> That's how to add a dry storage area to your cooler. I don't even know if dry storage is the right word. It could technically get wet. It's not going to. I mean, if the cooler flips over, sure, but if the cooler flips over, you got bigger problems. So this is what I did, and uh, hopefully you find it helpful. We'll see you next time. Well, we hoped you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more great videos from the Penguin Outdoors YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. And while you're at it, hit that little bell so you get notified when new content is available. Please leave us a comment down below and let us know what you thought. And don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.